Chinese scholars and industry insiders are calling for countries to stem the spread of protectionism during the economic downturn. The statement was made on Tuesday during a forum in Beijing on trade protectionism. The experts agree that to recover from the worst ever financial crisis, the whole world has to stick to transparent and fair free trade. Deng Wei has more. Although political leaders around the world have agreed to avoid protectionism, more and more countries have begun to close off their borders. The U.S. has taken the initiative by implementing a Buy America clause. European countries have also tightened their trade rules. Other nations, including Egypt, Russia, and India, have also joined the stream. A new wave of protectionism is emerging worldwide. Participants at the forum said the new round of protectionism is quite different compared with the wave in the Great Depression. The measures of this round of protectionism are more comprehensive and complicated. I think managing currency will be a major method. The countries will not just rely on single measure; they will also raise technological, environmental, and labor barriers. Despite the intense situation, participants agree that the protectionist measures will not be too extreme and turn into a worldwide crisis as back in the 1930s. The current protectionist measures are not likely to trigger large-scale trade wars around the world. The WTO mechanism will help ease the situation a bit. Besides, different countries now are more willing to tide over the crisis by collaboration. Cooperation and negotiations will help stem further spread of protectionism. China has suffered a lot amid the global slump and protectionism. Chinese exports are encountering anti-dumping and anti-subsidy probes in the U.S., Europe, and India. Industry insiders suggest that the government should help the survival of its export companies. They should also seize the opportunity to speed up changing the growth pattern of its foreign trade. They also urged companies to rely on innovation, management improvement, and new markets to make their way out of the crisis. Companies should work on technology innovation and products upgrades. Only by taking proactive measures can they overcome various barriers. Also, exploring new markets as well as paying more attention to domestic demand are always the right moves for their long-term development. Meanwhile, participants believe maintaining an open, fair global trade environment is vital for economic recovery. They say China should work together with other countries to accelerate the Doha Round talks. From the Davos Forum at the beginning of the year to the European leaders' meetings, from politicians to industry insiders and scholars, the message against protectionism has been clear. But fears of unfolding crisis is driving more and more nations to wave the flag of national interest. The World Trade Organization predicts that global trade this year will fall for the first time since 1982. And for China, many believe that exploring the domestic market is key to understanding the impact. Dong Wei, CCTV, Beijing.